Hello everybody and welcome once again to another Forever Stranded Quick Tip. What I'd like to talk about today are uh, sub-networks. Well, I'm just going to do one sub-network. And why would you like to use sub-networks? Well, really sub-networks provide you an interface with items. So you can do whatever you like behind this interface without using any, or just using one channel on the actual main network. So let's have a look at this. So here I've got the main network. And it's, I'm using two channels here out of eight. Now let's go inside and have a look downstairs where that's actually coming in. That's the purple channel, by the way. And that comes up through here. So we're using those two channels and that's going into a face of an ME controller. I that's using six because it goes on into some other stuff down. Where's it using six from then? Six of 32, six of 32. I'm not sure to be honest with you, never mind. At the moment from this side here it's just using two. Like that. I must be connecting something else to it. That I've completely forgotten about. Never mind. So let's have a look at this now. If I put down here an ME storage bus onto uh, this network here, it will use one more channel like this. When it comes in when it's active, which goes then to darker purple, I think. Takes a few seconds, there we go. Now our device is online and now we're using the three channels. So what do you do to make a sub-network is simply put an ME interface onto this like that. You'll try shift clicking it of course. And that will create a sub-network. You'll still only be using three. But what we have to do then do is we have to connect to that a another uh, we'll use a quartz fiber because it'll need power. Like that. And then we'll connect to that the, the next smart cable like this and that doesn't use any channels but this should now become online we can check this online let's let's change the color of the, of the cable now to using a light blue one so we can see the difference between the two so for example we could put one down here like this and then we probably could put an me controller beside it like this if i put the me controller on this side here for example it'll go red because it's on the same network as the, the main controller. So let's remove that and put it down on the other side over here. That's a bit irritating. Um, inventory tweaks, you keep putting things in the wrong place or refilling things with which, shouldn't, which are not related like that. So now you can see this is online. You can see it's just using one of eight channels in here now. And also, this is still using the three channels. Okay, not very useful at the moment, but let's start to do something useful with it. What I'm going to do is remove this because I want to actually put something else. Actually, we could put this down here. Let's do that. And let's connect to that other other items down here like this. So, wrong way. And let's put on here a terminal and a storage bus, a storage monitor. Oops, wrong one. You see what I mean? It refills everything with things that shouldn't be filling it with. Never mind, we'll just get rid of it. Try again, like that. So now, on this side here, we are using two of eight channels. We're still using one here, and we're still only using one on this side here, like that. But now we can do other smart things. We can take a, a storage. Let's take a chest, for example. That's probably good, a good item to use. Because with a chest, you can see what's in the card. And you can also see um, you can see what's in the card. And you can see, yes, what items and things are being used in the card. So let's have a look. So here I've got a an empty card at the moment, like this. And you can click it, and you can see it's empty. Let's put, say, um, some six buttons in there like that now if we come over here and we select buttons on this storage monitor here like this we'll see it says six let's do it on this side as well we also see we've got six so let's then come along here and then remove half of those so we've now got three you see we've got three in here and we also have three here so this side is seeing everything this side is six. If we actually click the terminal here, all we see is three buttons. I'll we'll pull the other four in there. Just 
Actually, no, I'll keep one behind. All we see is uh, the buttons in here. If you go over this side here, you will see everything. So like, yes, you can hear. You can hear. You can see the six buttons. If I take these out of here like this, I've now got zero buttons there, and I've also got zero buttons there. Now, if I want these to go into this side when I put them back in again, here I come along to this storage bus here, and then change the priority. I'll make it two because I think the one downstairs has got priority one. So now we put these back into this terminal here. These six buttons. Sure enough, we've got six here, and we've got six here. Let me do that again. This time, take them out so we can. We've got six buttons, seven buttons there now, and then let's remove this priority down to zero. Okay, and then put the six buttons in here. There they are. You see six in here and none in here. So let's change that priority. When we change the priority now, it doesn't move those buttons across. They're still there. So we have to actually go and get them out of here like that. In fact, let me just see they're still over there. There's still none in there. Let's take those out of there and put those back in again like that. Six again, and this time we've got six over here. Now what you can do with, once you've got some items in here, you can take this along, for example, to a cell workbench, and put it into the cell workbench. Actually, I've got a view cell here, and I've got buttons in the view cell. I'll put that into the other terminal. So if we now put this cell into here like this, and then click the partition storage button here, you'll see it's got buttons in there. And then that's the only item that can go into this cell. No, nothing else can go into this cell. So let's put this back into here like this. Okay, open up this. And then we can push the seventh button into here like that. And you see that goes up on the monitor and goes up in here. Let's say if we can push in this alloy smelter. We can't push it in. It doesn't go in because it's not in the partition. So that restricts the number of um, types of items you can have in here. And you'll see this is already orange saying it's got no more types available. Just for, and you'll see, of course, we've still got seven in that side as well. Now, if we put this partitioned, no, sorry, this view cell into here like this, then we don't see all the rest of the stuff. We just see some of the items that we've got, which were dyes, cobblestone, flint, and gravel. And, of course, bone meal's been classed as a dye, which is actually quite good. And you'll see we've got lots of lapis lazuli, for example. So right, anyway, so now let's do something slightly more useful than that. Let's say we have, um, let's take a check, let's take a drive here, I've got an ME drive with me. And I want to put into this, say, I want to store in this network cobblestone. Uh, let's say you want to store stone in this network. So here I've got some cobblestone, this is one, is, I think it's just, that's stone, yes. I will also need to store co yes, I'll need to store cobblestone because without cobblestone it won't work. So there's some cobblestone in there. Or what I want to do won't work. So I'll put these two into here like this. And these are both partitioned, so they're only going to accept the items. So we can see on here what we've got now. So we've got thirty-two thousand cobblestone and two hundred stone. Let's take this let's take all the stone out like that and as you can see we've got no more cobblestone uh, stone in there if I put those back in again like that those will actually still be in this cell over here but what we can do is we can take this one out of here take the stone one which is the 1k storage out of here put that in there put this into here click that you can see this they're actually in this cell so next thing Let's do some crafting with this as well. So, for example, what have I got with me here? Oh, I was just wondering whether to use a separate colour or not. Yeah, let's use pink. I've got some smart pink cable here. And bring this out. Uh, now, let's put onto this uh, another ME interface. Actually, I'd like to put a storage bus on it first, in fact.
No, I want to put an enemy interface like that. Because this is an enemy controller, we're still using one channel here and still only one channel going out into this as it happens. If I remove the ME controller, I could put everything together and you would only see one. How many have we got here now? We've got four channels. Yeah, that makes sense. So now we want to put in here a um, an alloy smelter. Let's put an alloy smelter down here like this. And this will need power. So just for the sake of it, I'm going to put down a capacitor, vibrant capacitor bank here, which is just about full like that I think I'll do it from the other side like that so this should have power in it which it has now so now what I'm going to do now is set up a crafting recipe so I've got a recipe set up which is going to make stone from cobblestone so if we put this into this interface here like this we should then see on here if we come over here we should we say we should be able to see the cobblestone being craftable which it is like that so let's see if we can actually craft some cobblestone probably the next thing to do let's craft a hundred cobblestone a uh, hundred stone I mean so let's change this to craftable items and craft 100 no crafting CPUs available which of course is the case because I haven't put my CPU down yet let's do that now it doesn't really matter where I'm going to put it let's put it say on top of the M um, the ME interface like that so that becomes active try that again 100 and that should be then coming into here but it should go out now it's not going to go out because we've not set up the um, this to be the side to being push and pull like that and then the items are going to be drawn out of here in fact, well, it's probably a good idea now. I've done with buttons. Let's just replace these buttons with something with stone, for example. And you can see it going up in there. Too. So we should end up with 300 when this is finished processing. Which won't be too long. So that's how you can do this. Now, what I'd like to do also, for example, is to tell the system that I always want, say, uh, 300 stone. Uh, no, I can't do that, can I? Well, I can actually. Let's do it in stacks. So let's take a stack of stone out of here, like that, and then come along and I would like to store. I have an ME store. I need, I need another ME storage bus. I hope we get it put in the right place, actually. Just thinking about it, it might not be the right place. So an ME storage bus, this one here. It will need, it will need pang, of course, so let's put one of these down like that. And on the ME interface here, we can say that we can say now we want 64 stone. Oops, wrong way, I did that in the wrong place. Let's get that out of the system. And if I put that into here like that, we'll get 64 stone always being kept. I can keep doing this. And now it'll, it's got 44 in there. Let's put in another 64 just for the sake of it. And these are not crafting up yet because we haven't got a crafting card in this ME interface. So what I have to do, first of all, is connect up the storage, the, my, uh, the storage bus here. Let's just do it down on the floor like that. So that's now connected up, or will be in a second. Have a look at the semi interface. Now we need a crafting card. So if I put a crafting card in there, this should start to, should start automatically like that to start to craft the other stone. And those stone will always be available in the system. In fact, I think in this case, let's have a look at this. They're all being stored in the actual ME interface here. They're not being stored in the network anymore. And only extra ones will go in there. So that should start to craft up the next set. It hasn't done yet. I wonder if I've got... Yes, I've got plenty of cobblestone. But it should start to craft these as well. Do I have to take this out and put it in again?
doesn't look like that's working. It should do, unless I reach a maximum somewhere. I don't know of any other restrictions, but it doesn't mean to say there aren't any. So we'll look. Crafting 20. Maybe I should cancel this because it hasn't crafted those 20. And there it goes again. I'm not sure why it decided it wanted to do that. But anyway, it's going to craft the 64 now. Something you have to watch anyway. Watch for. We shall have another 64 in here. And if I push another 64 into the system, which will wait a few seconds because let it finish doing its job. Got another few to go, not very many now. That's it, 64, like that. I can actually put them into the system by putting those into here like that. They get taken and they'll end up in this cell over here, like that, 64. So you can do some quite clever things with this. So next thing, let's let's say we got want to void stuff off now. The etc in his video showed you how to void stuff off i'm going to show you a slightly different technique of doing the same thing so for example i want to only keep say 300 cobblestone in my network uh, stone in my network here and any extras get thrown away the way i do it is actually with a toggle bus and the reason i'm going to use a toggle bus like this i'm going to put a toggle bus on here and on top of that, I'm going to put a, another piece of cable, like this. And then I'm going to put a, uh, an export bus. Let's get, get an export. I've got one out here, look. Like that. And what I'm going to do with this is I won't put it, I won't throw the stuff away just yet. I'll put it into a chest or something like that. Let's just get a chest. I haven't got one with me. Let's pick up one from the system. I'll link you Exhibra's video because it's very useful. It tells you all about how to avoid off other types of stuff here as well. So on here I want to put a, a level limiter. I actually went to the wrong place. Never mind, I have to do it the other way around. So what I want is a cable going up. A cable coming down like that. And I need, oops, I don't want that to do that. I always have this problem, it's a bit tricky to set up. Maybe I just need to move this back one. So let's remove it back one here like this. And that one away. Let's try again. So really I want the level meter to go on the other side of this down below. The easiest way is just drop down and do it that way. I think it's probably the easiest way like that. And then we can put a smart cable down here or any form of cable and then we can put the level of the toggle bus on here and you'll see this toggle bus is now on and so we can then connect up the last piece of cable in here so nothing's going to happen for the time being because this isn't being set up to export anything and this has this is toggling on for anything we want to so let's take out a piece of stuff i'll put the piece of dirt back as well by the way. first so let's take out a piece of stone from here, like that. And then we can say we can put this piece of stone into the level emitter. So at the moment it's saying that it's going to emit a signal when it's above zero. So what have we got in here? I need to just check the mean interface by the way, because otherwise I'm going to have I might might don't want to get into a circle of generating and. Um, 120, 256, 320, 20 blocks. So let's say we toggle this when it goes over 330 blocks, which it should be at the moment. So it should be toggling because we've got more than 330 in the system. We have 383. You can do it the other way around of course you can toggle this off so it won't won't emit a, a level in fact let's just let's put into here now a piece of stone 
so then it'll start to export stone if I change this again it'll this will t get turned off when it's only got 320 in the system so let's do that then 330 I mean sorry so now it's it should be on now the reason why I want to do it this way is you'll see that this device is online we should be getting stone into here and it'll be slow because this is not particularly fast we can speed it up like that in fact I think I've calculated wrong or maybe it was too fast now because it wasn't calculating things quick it was calculating things too quickly so probably a good idea to remove these and let's see what actually happens you'll see it's gone off but also this has gone off now that means it's only using one channel when it's on it will use two channels so if you've got a lot of voiding to do and you can of course replace this chest for a, a matter condenser that would be a, a good thing because that's one way to avoid stuff off you've got the bin here and you can change this to being a singularity or just simply to destroy the items like that so anything coming in here will get destroyed which is how you'd void stuff off so let's have a look how many have we got in the system now 308 I think it's finished oh it's crafting 33 it's supposed to be crafting 33 but for some reason it goes a bit screwy it should just craft two i think 320 it should craft 320 there we go and it, that should be the correct number so let's take these back again let's take the say 44 out of, let's take 10 out of there for example and we'll see what happens if we put just 10 into the system so these 10 should be removed this comes on in fact it's already gone that was fast i removed the acceleration card from there I have yes good let's try that again let's try 30 this time so we've got 64 plus 1 so we'll put those into there you see this is on and it's going slightly up so that should now go off when it reaches you probably don't need unless you're getting items in very fast an acceleration card in here so there we go yeah 631 and it turned off so now the system should still have in it 329 hopefully that's not trying to craft one this crafting is a bit strange don't get it it seems to be counting incorrectly never mind I don't know what I'm done wrong there. So we should have, yeah, that's right, two, 329. So if I actually want 313 here, I have to go, it emits it when it's below or equal to. So if I want it to be one like that, then it should have one more in here. It should craft one more. And I suspect this has gone and done its funny thing again. No, it hasn't actually. Oh no, of course it won't do because this is set up to just to craft 320 that's it wow it's a bit awkward but once you get the idea it's actually very useful because it does save a lot of channels as you can see we can have a second control well away from the, the base doing an, a whole load of processing and we can actually say we can configure that to being whatever we want so that's it i hope you enjoyed this not so short tip until next time bye for now